Hey everybody, it is Radley here with your energetic weather report for March 19th through the 25th. And I have my dear friend and marketing guru, Mooney Syed here with me. Say hi, Mooney. Hello. Hi, Mooney. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. I, was so, I knew you were going to do that. I knew you were going to do that. I can't resist. So, <laughs> it's hard. So the Archangel Michael sort of like Oracle card is what we are working with. Um, by the way, we have a podcast this week that is also about Archangel Michael and Arch Archangel Ariel. If that rings your bell, go check it out. Um, but first up, we are going to have a look or hearing of the personal archangel of the week. Now, what do I mean by that? It means that if you are watching this on YouTube, you're going to pick which card you feel is the one for you this week. If you are listening to this at mindbodyspirit.fm podcast, then you're just going to tune in intuitively and go, is it number one, number two, number three, or number four? So this is card number one. <clears throat> card number two, card number three, and card number four. Okay. <clears throat> I'll do number two, Bob. Two, Bob. Two. All right. Okay. All right. I like that for you, actually. <clears throat> so the first card that we have for this week's Energetic Weather Report is get your power back. Get your power back. You have forgotten who you are. You are the child of the divine. So take back your power. Now, this is a message that we have seen again and again, that you are a child of the divine. You have forgotten who you are. Take back your power. We're going to even going to see it in a similar version in this week's Energetic Weather Report again. But take back your power. Card number two is put your creative energy into action. This is a card that is meant to represent both Michael and Gabriel, right? And it says, Archangel Gabriel joins you to spark your creativity, help you communicate your vision, and motivate you to create something beautiful, right? And here's a message that we cannot get away from. It is coming up over and over and over and over. And that message is, be the real you. Be the real you. Your greatest power comes from being who you truly are. Don't let anyone sway you from expressing your authentic self. So getting your power back, using it for something creative and magical, and doing it from your own unique, magical personality that you are, right? Yeah. Once again, the cards <laughs> are not lying. Um, they are... I think showing up in this way, especially during this period of time that we're talking about all of these things to consistently and never endingly remind you that these are the keys to unlocking everything that you want to create, whether it's being a spiritual teacher, whether it's creating products, writing a book, teaching webinars and seminars, or, you know, like being at the big conferences, whatever that is, none of that can happen without this part of it happening first. Um, and, you know, I, 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 when you were sharing those three cards, I could feel like the muscles in my back relaxing because mm -hmm. it's, it is so right. That is so, that is the absolute right combination of perspectives to bring to, I want to go do this thing. I'm just going to trust mm -hmm. that these angels know exactly what they're talking about because they do. And mm -hmm. I don't need to be tense or riled up or scared or anything. I'm just going to keep trusting that this is the message that's coming through. I'm going to trust that I wouldn't have gotten this message if it wasn't what it was supposed to be getting. You know, so there's so many layers of just just letting go, I think, in a big way for me. It's just kind of releasing what it's supposed to be and just in, attaching to what it is. And what it is is just unfolding in front of you every time you take a step forward. That's how it's it's felt for me, you know, looking back, not in the moment all the time, but looking back at it now, every single step was revealed to me at the right moment. If it had been revealed any sooner or later, it would have been the wrong moment and I wouldn't have been able to act on it or I wouldn't be ready for it. Or I wouldn't have seen it for what it was. Uh, so I just, I can't say enough about the combination of these three cards, especially for you as spiritual entrepreneurs, you listening to this or watching it and thinking, hey, I, I could do that, but not quite knowing where to start. This would be, this is the starting point. This is the foundation for everything. And one of the things that I have definitely learned, especially especially since my career took off as a spiritual teacher, is that 
the more I'm more the more I'm myself, the more people are drawn to my message. You know, and it's like I have a really big freak flag to fly, right? I do. It's like you think about it for a minute. I am a Southern boy who grew up gay, outed himself as five, six years old, grew up, became a certified public accountant somehow, part Cherokee. And somewhere in there, I married a guy, moved to Denver, and then got my Hay House contracts, started wearing sequins, started wearing Swarovski crystals, started like just literally walking out on the stage and making the joke of, oh, by the way, I'm gay. And everybody always laughs because everybody <laughs> knows. But the more I am myself, the more my career grows, the more yeah. I am just honest about it, the more I'm honest about my sadnesses, the more I'm honest about my joys, the more I'm honest about my connection to angels and how much it means to me and how much I want them to have it as well. The more I tease about any aspect of, of my life is just me being real. Because as I've said before, I don't have an unspoken thought. And so I, I can't, I just like, it's like, I used to be able to hold back. I can't anymore. I'm just me. And you need to be you so that you can touch people's lives because that's how it works. Yeah. What he said. <laughs> so let's take a look at our personal Archangels of the week. If you chose card number one, this is an interesting card. You chose Archangel Azrael. Now, Azrael is the Archangel of sorrow, the Archangel of sadness, and the Archangel of healing from those things. So perhaps in order for you to take back your power, in order for you to be creative and for, for you to be the real you, maybe you have some healing to do in those things. I always call it big T trauma, little T trauma, but they're both trauma. Next card, Mooney's card, is yes. the magician, Archangel Raziel. Yes. which I love. I love the magician. And I love Raziel because Raziel comes in a rainbow color and like a prism. And he is the archangel of divine magic and the archangel of, of all the secrets of the source that are laid bare in front of us so that we can manifest what we want to manifest. I love that card. I like it too. No, card number three is change your life. Hmm, change your life, right? With Archangel Shamuel. And so Shamuel is the Archangel of personal and global peace. So if you're looking for personal peace in being able to reveal who yourself, who you are, you can use Shamuel. But Shamuel is also the Archangel whose name means the eyes of God. So if you're looking for the right opportunity, you're looking for the right career, you're looking for the right break and you just can't find it, you can ask Archangel Shamuel to find it for you. Oh, that's a good card, especially for this conversation. That's a great card. Yeah. Yep. And then finally, balance Archangel Zadkiel. So Archangel Zadkiel is known for memories and, and helping us to remember things. But in this particular case, he's also known for forgiveness. Forgiveness of self, forgiveness of others, forgiveness of the past to allow for the future. So if you have forgiveness work that you need to do, Zadkiel is going knock, knock, knock on your door, door, door. So keep in mind, Mooney and I have a three-part webinar that is coming up. Mooney, you want to tell them about it? Yes, it's going to be this and so much more. Uh, I, I want to frame it this way. It is going to illuminate the path that you could be on. You just have to choose to step on the path. Mm -hmm. That's, I think, what this is all about. That's what these podcasts are doing. That's what this energetic weather report's doing. That's what Rad's doing every day out there in the world. That's what I'm doing every day out there in the world is shouting in every single way that we can, in every form that we can, in every direction that we can. Hey, we need more of us out here. It can't just be us. We right. need more people that are helping and supporting and, and you know, expanding this reach of this concept of the fact that spirit is with us all the time, that healing is there, that, you know, certainty and confidence and knowledge and clarity and all the things that you've been searching for are all right there with you. You just have to learn how to access it. And people are wanting this on a higher level than ever before. So the opportunity for you to step into this in a way that 
supports you on your path and your growth and your journey, while also bringing you the abundance that you've been searching for and the freedom of having a career doing this is all there. The knowledge is there, the systems are there, the technology is there, but you're the missing part. So that's what we want this to be. We want to show you and remind you as many times as we need to, that you can do this, that we are welcoming you into this industry with open arms, that there's room for everybody, that we can all be successful and that the world needs exactly what you can bring to it. uh, And you just need to know how to do it and how to get there. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're going to be sharing. It's three parts. It's going to be fun. There's going to be laughs. It's free. free. You know, I don't know what else I can say about it, but come on over to RadleyValentine.com forward slash biz, B-I-Z, and join us on this journey and just see what happens. Be open to all of it. Be open-minded, open-hearted, open-spirited. What else do we want to have open? Consciousness, opportunity, possibility, you name it. We're going to be uh, popping the cork on everything. Yep. Magic will be there. Yes. All right, you guys, you have a great week. See you next week.